Hello and welcome to my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Please subscribe to this channel and also click the little bell to be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and if this is your first time, welcome. I hope you're going to enjoy today's tutorial. We're going to be finding out a little bit about a new palette that I got. We're going to be trying this exciting new eye look and we're going to be finding out about some colourful neon pigments as well. This is how the box comes in the post. Everything about this is cruelty free and vegan. So much so that you get this very detailed explanatory leaflet so that if you do want to pause the video and read that you can. It came all wrapped up in lovely black tissue paper and the palette which is called the It's Only Magic palette was very well wrapped up in bu bubble wrap. I mean more bubble wrap than I've seen for a long time to be fair. And then, what an absolutely gorgeous thing, this little black satin bag with Witchcraft VE Cosmetics. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. If you're going to support a brand, if it's worth the money you pay, then it's worth it, definitely. And it's not going to some huge conglomerate. Right, let's get on with some swatches. So here's the palette. It comes in a little sleeve like this. And inside, here we have all the beautiful colours. If you're a fan of the craft, the movie, then you will recognise some of the names of these colours and I'm going to swatch them for you a row at a time. So we'll start off with the top row. Okay, so we're going to do the top row first and the first colour is a lovely shimmer in the shade Spell and it's sort of like a champagne-y lovely shimmer really. The second one along is called Manon and that's a lovely dark red. Look at that, that's a really good red. Reds are quite tricky I find in some palettes but that's lovely. The third one is a yellow and that's called High School. You can't really see it very well on my skin tone but it is not a bad yellow at all. A little bit <laughs> flaky but not bad. And the last one on the top row is another shimmer and that's called Coven and that's a sort of lovely peachy sort of colour. So that's the top row. Okay, the second row is all matte and this is the colour Conjure which is a beautiful teal slash turquoise slash green colour. Beautiful and soft these mattes. The next one along is called Sarah and that's a lovely orange and I can see this being a big favourite this time of year around Halloween. That's a gorgeous Halloween orange. The next one along is everybody's favourite anti-heroine Nancy and that's a really dark, dark, um, beyond navy blue that's really a gorgeous color the next one along is a purple matte and that's called invoke and that's gorgeous i mean look at that for a, a matte purple eat your heart out bloodlust that's gorgeous so that's the second row okay and the last row there's three shimmers in this row there's five out of 12 of the colors are shimmer and this is a color called Nurse. And this is an absolutely gorgeous coppery, almost rose goldy shimmer, that's lovely. The next one is called Magic and that is a green shimmer, that is gorgeous. Look at that, that's really lovely. 
and then the next shimmer is called power and that's a purple shimmer oh that's i think that's going to have to be my favorite in the palette and the last color in the palette is called weirdo and that's the black not a bad black and if you've seen the film craft you'll know that that's where we get the phrase we are the weirdos mister and i highly recommend that if you haven't seen the film the craft you rush out and get a copy right this second okay this is the single this is the duo chrome and this um you can pop it out of this holder and put it into your own magnetic palette if you've got one so this is called sulfur and i'm going to do you a little swatch of this one so stand by and there it is it's a beautiful purpley bluey reflecty oh look at that it's gorgeous 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 so here we go um it's very exciting working with all these new things and the first thing we're going to do as usual is we're going to be doing some eyeliner and i've got a barry m high vis eyeliner um here it's a green one i think it's called strobe light possibly but anyway we're going to put some green eyeliner on these Barry M high vis liners are very good I've got this one and I've got a blue one um, I'm not quite sure what other ones they do but I'm going to be popping into um, Superdrug in the next few days to pick up one of the Barry M coal eyeliners because um, they come in a lovely deep blue which I'm quite keen on getting so excuse my hair it's just trying to get in everywhere at the moment I have put some eye primer in the shape of the revolution cut crease canvas on already but that was a little while ago so I might just put a tiny bit more I mean the most minute amount just to give it a little bit of tackiness just to let the colors hang on so we're going to start with the lovely it's only magic palette and i'm going to start with getting my brushes where i can get hold of them with the shade weirdo the black which i'm just going to put down in the corner, uh, I say corner, what I mean is out of V. So we'll just do that first. So these really are so lovely, these eyeshadows, I can't tell you. Because I was in such a quandary because I wanted a nice new colourful palette and I didn't know I wanted was it Stacey Marie, Tahiti, Stacey Marie Carnival 3 palette? Or should I go for uh, September Rose? Or there was, another, there was a number of them that I was considering. And in the end, I thought, you know what? These VE palettes, they're so beautiful. And... I don't think there's one colour in here that I wouldn't use. And with the, um, there's a Morphe Matte Colourful palette. There's the Stacey Marie, as I say. And they've got quite a lot of, um, I'm just going into the colour Nancy. Um, they've got quite a lot of neutral colours that I really, really wouldn't use at all. I mean, browns and beiges and things that I wouldn't use. So I thought, well, he pays you money and takes your choice, really. You go for something where you use the majority of the colours, which is what I did. So that's why I went for this one. 
So I'm just going to hold it up again because it is so lovely. Look at that. Right, so then we're moving on to the colour Nancy, which is the dark blue colour. I'm sure I had a brush for that, but maybe this is it. Yeah, this is it. So I'm taking that, and what I'm trying to do is make a crease where I haven't got one so that I can attempt to cut crease with this. I've been watching videos on how to do a cut crease for hooded eyes and it's just basically you make one up so let's do that. So I put that colour Nancy there and now I'm going to go in with the colour um, Invoke which is this beautiful purple colour. As I mentioned in the swatches all these names come from a film called The Craft. I'll put the details of it up on the screen but it's such a great film. Everybody wanted to be Nancy I remember and you've obviously seen t-shirts and memes and what have you saying we are the weirdos mister because they um the girls try and get on a bus and the bus driver tries to warn them about all the weirdos that are out there to be careful of and um nancy says we're the weirdos mister which you know is true so i'm just rubbing my purple brush on my tea towel on my lap just to get it in a stage where i can blend this purple a little bit more there we are and the next color i'm going to go in with is the red color which is called manon and i believe that is the name of a demon so we're just gonna take this red I will speed up the bits where I'm just blending, so I won't talk on those bits. So I'm going to say that's reasonably um, symmetrical, and I'm just going to very quickly pop into my Beauty Bay Pastels palette, which I'll show you here and take a little bit of the um, Love Struck, the pinkish colour. Just trying to put off the moment where I have to do a cut crease. No, I'm not really. I mean, I very rarely do them, which is why I thought I really ought to try and do one for you. So taking my cut crease canvas again and a little flat brush, I attempt to create a crease where there isn't really one and I'm using the tiniest amount because it tends to be quite wet this stuff and if it's too wet it doesn't work at all well Okay, so now we're going to use the single witchcraft colour, the one which is called Sulphur. And um, as I say, you can pop this um, out. It's got a little divot there, so you can pop it out. But it's magnetic, so it'll pop back in again. And these uh, duochrome colours are just to die for. I mean, you have to get quite a lot to get it to show up, but I don't mind. You know me, more is more. And there it is. We're just taking for the first part, halfway across, I'd say that is. Yeah, approximately halfway. 
more on, get some more colour going. I really hope you can see this showing up. In one light it's blue, in another light it's dark purple. Oh, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'll put a bit there, which I don't know if I did on this side, but I have now. Right, so that's that. And then I am going to take a tiny bit of my Barry M, <coughs> excuse me, coughing, Barry M Glitter Fixing Gel, just on a finger, and put that over the white of the cut crease canvas, just a tiny bit, and then I take the beloved Sample Beauty pigment in the shade Arctic, which is very difficult to get hold of these days, so if you've got one, give yourself a pat on the back. I mean, I hate to even try and show it to you, but it's like, oh. Anyway, we'll get some on a flat brush and stick it there. Again, you do need to take quite a lot of this and push it in quite firmly. And at the same time, Try and just sort of bring the blue, I say blue, bring the sulphur towards it. So it's more of a, a blend. There we go, look at there, that's nice. So that's, we've got that going on there. Yep, lovely. So also highly recommend these sample um, beauty pigments. The glittery ones are just, they're magical, they really, really are. Um, and I have my Glam Crystals by Collection, which are a dupe for the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners. This one is in the shade Hustle, and I think they're 2 99 which is ridiculous. And I'm just going to take it along the edge of the cut crease just to give it a little underlining or overlining or just to put a line there really I need to start doing the lines and first of all I take my KVD Vegan Beauty tattoo liner in the shade Trooper and just line this bit that comes down where your lashes finish. Just tidy up the one on this side. And then I take my marvellous Essence Liquid Ink also highly affordable and go and do the rest of the lash line. It's just because it's liquid it tends to misbehave right in the corner of your eye. The other tricky part is to get a matching line there. I did it very faintly so I can go back in oh, and do it again. One of these days asymmetrical makeup is going to be a thing and I'm going to be right there for it. Okay. Doing the second wing. Hold your breath. Back to 
the magnifying mirror. And it's coming again all the way back in. That has quite a thick wing today. This tribal idea is something that just came out of the blue. I saw something very similar um, done by a lovely girl called Just Goth Jade, J-A-Y-D-E, um, who is absolutely super and I highly recommend you check out her channel. And she'd done this thing with lines and it was all very brilliant, I thought. She does a thing where she does lace as well, which is also very brilliant. Um, and I sort of took an idea from her, really. Anywho, the next thing we have to do is this tribal stripes. And I'm using my nail art brushes that I got from Amazon for cheap. And I'm using these three Helen E. Cosmetics Neon Pigments. Let me hold them properly. There they are. Aren't they gorgeous? So, I was put onto these by um, an MUA called uh, Sam Sanjo. Anyway, I'll put her, I'll link her Instagram so you can see it. She's an absolute genius, an art, a true artist. And um, she was using these the other day and I was like, gotta have some of that. So I am putting a little bit of the pigment powder into a little tin tray that I've got and I'm just mixing it with some of that mixing liquid, the Mayron mixing liquid that I bought it and showed you back a few weeks ago now. Oh! <laughs> and I've got it in an old art syringe that we use for mixing colours. And I just get a bit on the brush. Again, a bit of breath holding. Bear with. There we go. You have to be quite careful because if you get too much liquid and not enough powder, then it does go a bit watery. Okay, so that's the green, and as you can see, it sort of flows through the eyeliner as well. It goes in a continuous line, so that's the green. Then the next one is the pink, and this is just a glorious colour. It's the pinkest pink that you could possibly ever want. And I've used it to go and go down here. I mean, if you're going to have creases in your forehead, Why not fill them in with paint? There we are. And then we're going to have one here. Having a lot of wrinkles is sometimes not the greatest thing in the world. There we go. And then we'll take it one out to the side. See if I can do this. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then finally there's a nice purple one. So we need a little bit more 
mixing liquid. So purple. And that's that. And so, yes, highly recommend these. They do come off quite easily, in case you were wondering, because I tried them yesterday. Hilariously, I then went to Tesco's and um, it was quite, quite funny. There was a little girl, I suppose she must have been about, I don't know, eight, seven, six, I don't know children. Um, and she was just like, as I went by, I did, I did laugh, oh how we lulled. Um, dots I am doing with my liquid ink and again a nail art tool. So get a little bit on the nail art tool and then there we go. And while that's drying I used my Catrice it's easy liner to do some lines on my nose. I use my Lottie London stamp liner to do the moon stamp in between. And I will also, while it's, while it's drying, use the other end of the stamp liner just because you get a lot. There we go. Just to do some little dots like so. Um, I'm thinking it's reasonably symmetrical. So last I thing is a, oh there it is, is a lash and then while that's drying what we'll do is the lip and we're going with the beautiful VE Cosmetics Witchcraft Sulphur Black tried this out the other day as well and oh, so light I'm going to try and do it in one dip and there we have it in one dip how amazing um, it dries down very matte it's kiss proof it's not sandwich proof but then very few things are here comes the lash. Oh no, I haven't done the <gasps> stupid, I haven't done the mascara to get it to sit on. So Lash Princess by Essence. So there you have it. The bright and yet goth, dark and yet colourful, tribal, magical, craft inspired just goth jade inspired neon pigment helen e inspired ve cosmetics it's just magic palette inspired look thank you again for being with me today and it just remains for me to say i will see you next time stay well stay safe and stay strange my friends <laughs>